guys, welcome back. This week we're going to start on the charity build. I'm going to have him pan around and look at this trailer a little bit. We're going to do some modifications. And I've got a friend of mine here, Donald. He's going to do the welding on the, on the trailer for me. And uh, we're going to get this trailer all nice and secure. We're going to leave the angle iron the way it is. We're going to add some square tube stock all the way around the whole perimeter. Welding it to the existing frame. Then we're also going to take, tie in some cross supports up here to the tongue, into the front main rail and onto the tongue to prevent any kind of twisting. This is a carry-on trailer from uh, Tractor Supply. Uh, it's a 5x8 trailer. It was a mesh bottom. I'm going to tell you right now, I've had this question asked probably 20 times in the group, is this a good trailer to build on? I'm going to tell you. No, it's not. I would not build on this trailer if I weren't doing the modifications to it. Um, with the rails on it, it twists. You take the rails off, you step on one corner and that back corner will just shoots right up. So we've got to straighten this out and get it nice and firm and sturdy so we can build on it. So now we're going to go over here. To Donald, he's going to show you the setup that he's using to weld. This is Donald. He's using a, a Lincoln uh, a MIG welder. It's a 210 MP. He's got the gas here, so it's going to be a good, nice, clean weld. Hopefully, everything will work out good. Uh, Donald welds for a living, so I believe that it's just a much better scenario if he does it instead of me. Yeah, we're using a. Uh... 035 solid core wire um, running 200 inches a minute, 17 volt, um, 7525. Typically, don't want to weld with this if it's uh, windy conditions. Okay, so without further ado, what we've done already, and you're going to see some footage of that, is uh, all the welds that were holding on the mesh trailer had to be grinded off. So that's what you're seeing all over here. We're not really concerned with the ones in the middle because we're going to build on top of this frame not on top of this frame so this really doesn't matter so we went around the edges and made sure that all of the burrs were were grinded off everything's nice and flat so this has a nice flat surface to set on we're going to weld them together so it doesn't move in the end this thing is going to be 10 times stronger than what it ever was when it came out of the factory so without further ado let's get going
watch your skill of moving the puddle on this one. Okay. Ready when you are. Okay. All right. Ready when so you are. this technique is um, I'm like pushing rather than pulling, uh -huh. Uh -huh. or dragging uh -huh. they call it, because there's no slag in this wire, you know, so you kind of push it. Okay. circular motions. Yep. Yeah, so I put a lot of the heat on this because it's thicker. Right. And then I, I kind of pull it down and then just let it dig into this a little bit because it's, it's a little thinner. Right. All right, guys, that takes care of this episode. We got the trailer all welded up and ready to go. Next week's going to be the floor. Give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down. It really helps get the video out there. Build on. Have a good day. See you next week.